Okay, I'm doing a vlog test on the S5 Mark II. I'm using the kit lens, the 20 to 60, and I'm in the hood. That's where I live, so. I'm actually about to go to a coffee shop called Elias here in Kansas City, and I have the wrong keys, so I better go get the keys from for my wife's car. Just gonna kiss my wife goodbye real quick before I grab some coffee for us. Romance. Still super underexposed, but maybe you can see me. The problem with using this lens to vlog outside and out and about is that it's a uh, three point five, I think, aperture at the wide end. So you're not getting a lot of extra light. And I'm also using an ND filter because it's so bright outside. But this is just to kind of see how the autofocus works and various different lighting and while moving around in a more natural way as you do when you vlog. And uh, also just to test out the audio. I'm, I'm using a Rode video mic and I want to see how that operates um, in different settings as well. Because I know it just different cameras have different preamps and all that. I don't really know how to mess with those just yet, but I know with the Canon R7 that I had, the preamps were really nice. Like I got really, really clean audio out of that camera. So let's see if I can do the same with this camera. I got my coffees and I decided not to bring guys with me to the coffee shop because it's just a little gangster out here. And uh, you know, this camera costs quite a bit of money, if I do say so myself. So I, I just wanted to make sure I kept you guys safe. And I know it feels like I'm just keeping things from you guys, but I, I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to keep you safe. Thanks for understanding. So I'm using auto ISO now. I think I'm on auto white balance and we're shooting in vlog. I'm home now and we're gonna try to finish my vlog here. My wife is making some breakfast. We got some beauteous, beauteous bacon. Now the problem with auto ISO that I'm learning about these cameras, this camera in particular actually, is that uh, it doesn't expose for the fact that V-log is so flat and, and that it's better to expose one stop higher. So it may be exposed perfectly technically, right? Like, so it might be exposed right technically, but once I put it in the computer and I have to bring up the exposure a bunch, I'm gonna find some noise. Though I am kind of excited to see just how well it does auto white balance and auto ISO because I've heard a few reviewers say that they would feel comfortable just putting on auto ISO because of how clean the stops are. And I've never had a camera like that and I'm sure you haven't either. So let's see just how accurate and accurate this camera can be. We got some eggs cooking at a whopping F 5.6. Show them a new mug. Wow. Here, put it, uh, bring it up in front of your face. Wow, checking that autofocus. Wow, bring it down. And up. And down. Wow. <gasps> so, after looking over the footage, I am really impressed. There's not a noisy clip in there. Now, am I perfectly exposed in all of it? No, but using auto ISO and auto white balance, it seemed to change perfectly. And I could bring things up in post if I want to. In this video, I just did a little bit of tweaking, but I did not go through each individual clip and uh, bring up any of the exposure or anything. I put like an adjustment layer, threw on my LUTs, and brought the exposure up a tiny bit. So. Let me know, do you think that this is a great vlog setup? I do. 
And I even think the 3.5 aperture is perfect for vlogging. It's a little blurry in the background, but not blown out. So you can actually see the setting. And personally, I like that. So thanks for watching, guys.